Hey everyone, my name is Nick, and welcome back. Um, so now the player is wandering around an empty field with not much to do, so I thought it would be cool to add some bugs for the player to catch as part of the gameplay that actually takes place in this area of the game. And I may or may not have been inspired by Animal Crossing, but uh, I think it'll look pretty good. So the next thing I did was to draw some bug sprites. I have two different kinds of butterfly and the firefly, which is updated from the uh, one you've seen in previous videos. Um, and I modeled my butterflies after the monarch butterfly and the morpho butterfly. The morpho, which is the blue one, is going to be a bit rarer, so the player will see that one a lot less. I animated my butterflies and my updated firefly in the same way that you've seen in some of my previous videos with the original firefly. Um, only this time the butterflies have three frames of animation, while the firefly still only has two. To make it look like the bugs are flying around independently, I put each of the butterflies and the firefly on their own different paths. And the paths look different in order to give it some variety. And they are also going to be rotated to a random degree, um, so it doesn't look like they're all sort of moving in the exact same way when they're all placed into the field scene. So here's a quick look at the randomization script. Basically it's taking the two types of butterfly and the firefly and then setting a random range for the number of each of those bugs that should actually appear in the field. So the monarch is 3 to 15 currently, the morpho is 1 to 5, and the firefly is between 5 and 20. The uh, paths that the bugs are on can only appear within a certain range of values in the field, so they're not like flying off the screen or flying behind trees that the player can't actually access. So even though it looks randomized, they're all contained within a certain area. Currently the game also has a day and night system, um, and another thing the script does is check to make sure it's day or night before populating the field with butterflies or fireflies. So during the day, the script will populate the field with a randomized amount of butterflies, and at nighttime, the script will populate the field with fireflies. The uh, day and night functions, which basically just changes a canvas modulate value, uh, can be called programmatically at any time. So during the course of the game, the uh, player will actually do different things during the day and different things at night. And of course, one of those things is catch fireflies when it's nighttime. And finally, just for fun, I thought I would see what it looked like to add a ton of bugs to the field uh, during the day and at nighttime. So obviously this is pretty terrible for performance, um, and the final game isn't going to have anywhere near this number of bugs on screen at any one time, but uh, just to see what it looked like, I thought I would give it a try. And it is way too many bugs. So that's all I have for this quicker devlog. Um, hope you all are staying safe and washing your hands and stuff. If you liked the video, please leave a like and maybe consider subscribing, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Thanks!